Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you like the videos, then make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you want to leave any feedback, that's always appreciated down in the comments. And if you want to keep up with this series as well as my other projects, then go ahead and join our Discord, which is on the screen. Take care, nerds. Now on to the video. Hey guys, so this video is a topic that has been on my mind for quite some time in I've also chatted about with like other developers on this topic. And just a disclaimer before this video starts, it might be a little bit ranty, but I will try to my best to stay on the points and topics that I want to stay on. And this is about being new to coding or new to Discord bots and that whole that whole area that you might find yourself in if you're just getting into coding. And even though I might specifically stick to talking about Discord mods, I think this is going to apply to any new coder because of this one main issue I find when it comes to people who are new to coding. And that being tutorials here on YouTube. And there is an effect of people who come to these tutorials when if they're new and the effect that leads on them and where those people find themselves going forward. And I'll talk about that here. Starting out with coding, a lot of people may go to YouTube, might look up questions and answers on Stack Overflow, they might go to Code Academy, Free Code Camp, other resources online. <clears throat> and for the most part, you'll find a lot of information for free on how to get started. Videos like my I make with my Discord series or other um, videos like I'm not going to call anyone specifically out because it's really not their fault with the videos that they're making. But the impression people are getting is as long as they follow these tutorials, copy the code, and just go through the tutorial that way, they're going to know what they're doing. They're a developer. They're a Discord bot developer or a web developer, software developer. But that's not the case and that's not what... I have been seeing throughout the past six months since I got back into bot develop coding in general. I started working on my suggestions about back in August. It has grown tremendously in the support and you know it's truly humbling to see all of it. And now the bots in I think over 750 servers. But that didn't come easy. That came with a lot of trial and error, a lot of pulling my hair out. And just, you know, long days, you know, working on one or two specific issues that I come across. It's not easy. And I don't think coming into this, a lot of people are built for the grind or trying to tackle these issues. <clears throat> and if you are, maybe you're not being led down the right path. You might have to try and find that path that works for you. But if that's not the case... And if you're coming into this with the expectations that this is going to be easy, all you have to do is copy the code and everything will work and together as you intend, that's not what coding is. When you're a coder, when you're a developer, you're a programmer, your main task is to solve a problem. That's what it really comes down to is problem solving. And how you solve the problem, the ability to solve the problem in whatever way, that's what's going to differentiate you, yourself from one coder to another. And if you're coming onto YouTube and you're just watching these tutorials and just building a bot, strictly sticking to these tutorials, you're not going to get anywhere because you're stuck in this tutorial mindset where you're so dependent on not your own knowledge, but the knowledge of wherever you're getting this information from, whether it's YouTube, Stack Overflow, Code Academy, Free Code Camp, and many other resources that you can find online, even maybe courses on Udemy. <coughs> Those are just all examples. What I don't see people talking about a lot coming new, new to coding is how difficult it can be to get into it if you're just ex expected to stick with tutorials. If you really want to go to the next level, 
then you're going to have to actually start gaining your own knowledge in your head. And by gaining that own knowledge in your head, you're going to have to start putting in the work. So you have an idea that you want to implement. Yeah, you might go watch a tutorial or something generally in that area, but the truth is you're not always going to find a tutorial. You're not always going to find someone else to just go write that code for you. Sometimes you're just going to have to figure it out yourself. That's what problem solving is. If there isn't a solution to your, to your problem, you might have to solve that problem yourself. And, you know, speaking for myself, that's what it really came down to throughout my experience in the past six months is I just had a, you know, I was able to find different nuggets of information to help me go down the path to solve my problem. But I had to figure it out myself. And if you can't sit down and, you know, get in front of your Visual Studio code or Atom or whatever code that you use and just start writing out the code you need to yourself, then you're going to find it very difficult to get to the next level of where you want to be. You eventually want to move outside of the tutorial mindset. And I can give you a great example of this. For this previous spot that I did for a client, there were some things I just didn't know how to do. I didn't know how to work with this, some of these APIs and just some functionalities that are common in other bots like the one I made. But I still decided to work with this client because I wanted to challenge myself. I knew, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. It took me quite a while to get through these different functions of the bot. But I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but I still did it because I wanted to challenge myself. I didn't want to become comfortable with what I'm doing. Because once you become comfortable, you're vulnerable. You don't want to be vulnerable. So I sat down, and as I, like, looking back at how I coded, coded the spot, I barely looked at tutorials. The only thing I looked at was the documentation for the API that I used, some other references, like screenshots and materials, and just talking with other friends of how this these different functionalities I'm newly implementing to the spot I'm working on, how they work. But for the most part, I'm just taking all this knowledge that I have in my head of disk robots that I've obtained throughout the past six months and just poured it into this bot. And out the other end, became a very well-functioning bot. And that's what's going to have to be. It's not because of tutorials. Tutorials is where I started, but it's not where I tend to depend on. You don't want to depend on tutorials because if you're just in that dependent mode instead of that independent mode, you're going to find yourself getting frustrated when something breaks. You're going to find yourself getting frustrated when you're, you're not getting a, a answer to a question. And you can avoid a lot of these frustrations as a, as a developer if you just learn to be independent. Instead of just going into a Stack Overflow or a Discord and pasting your code and the error that you get when you're not taking necessary steps like, did you go and see what error your ID is, is telling you? Did you fix your syntax? Did you check the documentation for that API or library or framework that you're using? If you didn't do those steps, then you're not doing your part as a developer. Instead, you're expecting other people to do that part for you. And if you're not willing to do that part for yourself as a developer, as an independent person, then you're just not going to get to the next level and you're just not going to succeed the way you are. You're just going to be stuck in limbo, watching tutorials, expecting things to work just dandy. And I'm telling you from experience and seeing what other people are going through as they get into developing, specifically Discord bots, since that's kind of been my main scope for the past several months, but I've branched out from that now. But that's just what I'm seeing and what I felt very compelled to speak on. And I've said this before, like in the descriptions for each of my videos in my Discord bot series, I have a ton of links of information that is there to help you. So you can help yourself to become a better developer, a more well-rounded developer. And you know, this specifically with Discord JS, JavaScript, and Node.js. But even if you're not working in those libraries, say you're writing a Discord bot in Java or C Sharp or Python, there's resources out there and people out there who you can ask. 
but sometimes at the end of the day, you're just going to have to sit in front of your computer and figure it out yourself with trial and error, because that's just what coding is. And if, well, that's a part of what coding is. And if you don't think that what coding is, if you think all you have to do is just copy paste code and you think it works, or you have to put in minimal effort, say you code for two, 30 minutes a day for a week, but you give up because it's too difficult, then it's not going to go anywhere. And again, you know, I'm not trying to sound mean or harsh or rude. I'm just trying to tell it how it is and how I've seen it for the past six months. With these tutorials and these other, other routes of resources on the internet, you know, a lot of these people online or even in classrooms and schools or code boot camps, they're doing their part to help you. But you're expected to do your part to help yourself so you can move forward and the people who are helping you, they can help you move forward. You have to help yourself. If people are, are you know, suggesting or advising you to go look at these resources for more information or go watch this video, but you're just, you're just sitting there at your computer and like, why do I need to do this? I just want to fix this issue. Or, man, I have one hour left tonight. I just want to fix this issue and then I'll go and get into the nitty gritty layer. If that's how you're treating yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. And you don't want to do yourself a disservice as a developer because it will hurt you not only in the short term, but in the long term. Don't do yourself a disservice. Put yourself at an advantage by taking advantage of the resources online to help yourself. Because if you're not helping yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. If you're wasting other people's time who are trying to help you, you're not only doing yourself, again, a disservice, but you're doing them a disservice as well. Because they're genuinely trying to help you go down the right path, but they're not going to hold your hand. They're not going to spoon feed you. They're trying to help you go down the right direction. And believe me, there's a lot of good people out there who want to help. I'm one of them. But I'm not going to sit here and spoon feed or just entirely hold your hand when I can point you to the direction of different resources that is bound to help you. You take this information, you help yourself, you don't do yourself a disservice. Those are kind of the main things I wanted to say in this video because I've seen this for so long. Who knows, maybe no one may watch this video or only five people may watch this video, but this is something I have to get off my chest because I've seen it for far too long and it's not necessarily the fault. It's not necessarily at fault of people who put up these tutorial type videos on YouTube. Because believe me, tutorials are very helpful. We all have to start somewhere. But tutorials are meant as a found, are, are meant to be a foundation, and foundations are meant to be built on top of. You can watch. You can sit all week and just watch a bunch of tutorials and copy paste code into your, your IDE or text editor and call it a day. But you're still out, you're st but by the end of the week of doing all that, you are still at the foundation level. You wanna know how to build the next level, level one, then level two, level three? You have to start doing some things for yourself. Start watching more videos from developers Start reading articles based around coding on medium.com. Immerse yourself in the whole developer world by talking with people who are developers, friends or family or just people online. Maybe go to a code meetup. Teach people how to code at a local library or, or some sort of institution, nonprofit whatsoever. Yes, in some ways, you know, you're doing things to help others, like, you know, but teaching others is a very valuable experience, but still, you're doing things for yourself to help build you up, build up your tower, your skyscraper. Because, again, if you're just stuck doing tutorials and you're getting frustrated when something's breaking, but you don't know what to do because you don't have the foundation material for what you're doing, then again, you know, I'm kind of repeating myself, but you're doing a disservice to yourself. And that's what you don't want to do as a developer or, or even as a human being. So if you made it to this point, I implore you to 
take control of your path as a developer and make things work for you. Actually put in the work so you can improve. And if you don't want to put in the work, if you don't want to learn the basics of different languages like JavaScript or Java or C Sharp so you can so then you can move on to build a Discord bot or a website or an API for an e-commerce platform or a video game. If you don't want to build that foundation and then build up the levels after that, then coding may not be for you. But if you think coding is for you or you are willing to put in the work, then you need to surround yourself with the people and the resources so you can succeed. Because one of the big things I'm not seeing with a lot of people is they're not setting themselves up in the position to succeed. Everyone has is entitled to and has a right to succeed on their own as an independent, especially when it comes to being a developer. There is no better feeling than sitting down for six hours and finally solving this issue that you've been working on or implementing this new feature. It's, it's no better feeling. Like, I love that feeling, even if it's just something small. And small things matter. But even if it's something small or big, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling because I know I did this myself. Yeah, I may have started from a tutorial and some reading through the documentation for API or library or framework, but I did this myself. And everyone, as a developer, should just be giving themselves a pat on the back when they complete something good. Because they did it. They put themselves in a position to do it. Not because of some tutorial on YouTube told you to, or because an answer on Stack Overflow told you to, but because you took all these resources and you made them work for you. You have to make it work for you if you want to be successful. If you want to unlock your passion, or if you, if you have a passion for coding. But if you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to set yourself up in the direction for success. And I really think you should look elsewhere than becoming, doing coding or software development. But again, if it's something that you're interested in, then you're gonna have to put in the work. You're gonna have to put yourself on the path to succeed. Take advantage of what's out there so you can become successful. And it's not gonna be easy. Do not get misled, it's not gonna be easy. The past six months I've been coding has not been easy. Some days I just didn't always want to feel like just getting up and sorting out this problem, but I did it because it's, again, for me, this is a passion. It may not be a passion for you, it may just be a hobby or whatsoever. But anything great does not come easy. I know it may sound, oh, this is a little bit corny, but it's true. Anything great does not come easy. And I'm willing to put in the work and outwork anyone else around me to become great. And that may not be the case for you as a coder, but it may be the case for you in other areas of life. But I'm not going to go down that road as I just intend on sticking to coding here. But that's what I'm going to wrap up. wrap it up with, guys. Just when you're building a foundation, you're expected to build more levels upon it. You want to put yourself in a position to succeed. You're going to want and have to put in the work if you actually want to get to the next level. So if, if you didn't really hear anything else in this video or whatsoever, then I hope you take that away from this video at least. And I know this is a rant. I hope I stayed on topic. But... I'm going to end it here, guys, and after this, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming with my other Discord bot development videos. And also, you can join my Discord, which is in the description, if you just want to chat about code or developing in general, if you want to get help with your own code, and I can point you in the direction to help yourself succeed, or you just want to chat in general and meet new people as I'm really trying to grow a real community here and I can't do it without your help. But along with that, there's a ton of other links in the description as I, as I mentioned before that I highly recommend checking out if you're doing JavaScript Node.js along with Discord.js. And I even have a Medium article that I wrote last year uh, that kind of 
fits into this topic, but you know, even last year, that was in the way earlier point in my my path as a developer than where than where I am now. So, check the description for all that information, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, nerds. Peace.